What is up, YouTube? It's me, John Avenger, again. Yeah, I'm getting used to recording on this uh, webcam here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do another, a different series. This is my uh, underrated actresses, the uh, actresses in Hollywood that I feel are very underrated, that don't get the respect they deserve, or they don't get the work that they deserve. And I'm going to start with my first one, an actress who I've loved since the 2000s. I've seen a lot of movies with this actress. She has not gotten an Oscar yet. And she's been reduced to doing stuff on, like, HBO now instead of being in theaters like other actresses. And that is Amanda Peet. I really enjoy this actress. I think she's beautiful in everything that she's in. Uh, I think she's pretty funny at times. You know, she has this charm that I don't get with a lot of actresses nowadays. This is her movie, Whipped. I think she's the best thing in this movie. Um... The four guys, I don't really care for them in the movie, but I did care about her, so, you know, she gets them good, and, and I think she's, you know, it says a smart and sexy comedy, well, yeah, mostly because of Amanda P. but I do have a bunch of her films, because I, I support her, here's the whole nine yards and the whole ten yards, yes, I like the whole ten yards as well, you get to see Amanda Pete in, in her pa bra and panties, and being so sexy, and, you know, her with a gun, I don't think the film is terrible. I know a lot of people hate the movie and it flopped, but I think it's an underrated sequel, just like Red 2. Um, Amanda P. just, you know, every time I see her on screen with those gorgeous eyes and that face, just she lights up the screen every time she's on. Uh, I have other films with her. I got uh, Saving Silverman, really funny in that. Definitely a, a different character that she played. Um, the X. A, a kind of a dramedy uh, with uh, John Cusack, an actor that she has a lot of chemistry with. That's uh, Martian Child. She's not on the cover, but she's on the back. Right there, if you can see her. Really good actress. I mean, I wish that this mo actress would get more uh, roles in Hollywood because really, she got screwed over. What was she in last year? Uh, she had a supporting role in Identity Thief. Yeah, a crappy comedy with Jason Bateman and um, Melissa McCarthy who, I'm sorry, Melissa McCarthy, I liked her in Bridesmaids, but putting her in everything does not replace Amanda Peet's charm, I'm sorry. I really wish that Amanda Peet would just, you know, that they would give her a big movie, you know, like, they give to Sandra Bullock, you know, The Part in Gravity, I bet she could have played that role just as good, and it would have been the same thing. It would have gotten the praise, and she probably would have finally gotten an Oscar nomination. I feel that, like she's been overlooked too long, she got screwed over by the Hollywood system. They always had to typecast her in, like, comedies or in some dramas that they just threw her in. I mean, seriously, she was in Changing Lanes for, like, two minutes. And I'm like, why would they waste her ta talent to be in two scenes? It doesn't make any sense, you know? It was a good movie, but she's not in the film that much. And, uh, I mean, they had to use her in, like, the remake of Gulliver's Travel with Jack Black, and I don't care for that. Um, you know, just, uh, she's beautiful. She's 40 now, but isn't Sandra Bullock going to be 50? So why not use a young, a, a woman that's 10 years younger? I'm just saying, you know, it, it's my opinion. You know, I still have other films with her. I got this, $5 a day. She's not on the front cover, but she's in this. I just love watching her in films, you know. This was very different, a crime drama with, uh, Ethan Hawke and with Mark Ruffalo very very dark film but you know she did a good performance and so did these two guys uh she's a woman she's a uh, a jewish american actress that is not afraid to show skin and is not a porn star so i i applaud her for that because not every woman is even ballsy enough to take off her clothes on screen or even show legs i mean come on now but you know and this one this is the last thing i saw her in in the big screen 2012 an underrated disaster movie with John, her and John Cusack again playing, um, you know, kind of in love interest even though she's with another guy. This was a fun movie. I saw this in the theater back in 2009 and I don't think it's a bad movie. I've seen much worse. Roland Emmerich, a lot of his, you know, films like this and Independence Day and Godzilla, they all get crapped on by critics and they say, oh, they're the worst films ever made. Really? No. I'm sorry. That's a topic for another day. Uh, but Amanda Peet, I love you, girl. You keep doing your thing. I hope one day that Hollywood realizes that you're better than you, than they give you credit for. Uh, I don't want to see her stuck on a, on television because she did a show, I think, like two years ago 
on like ABC and it got canceled after one season. I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? I really thought that she could have done, you know, that show could have gone on to do like, I don't know, two or three seasons at least. But no. It got canceled and she had to go back to do other stuff. And I'm like, she deserves better. I'm sorry. I know she has a baby, but, you know, I really want her to be, you know, do something big. Like, Scarlett Johansson, if she had not gotten Iron Man 2, I bet she would have just done indie flicks the rest of her career. But she's doing a mix of both. Mainstream and indie flicks, which I support. Because independent movies stay clear away from freaking Hollywood standards. Uh, but Amanda Peet, you know, I've watched your movies over the past 10 years. I've really enjoyed your stuff. I even enjoyed some of the movies that are not great, like Whipped. I like it for you. I like the whole 10 yards because, you know, it, it, oh, the jokes don't work. Bruce Willis has issues, okay, people? He's a good actor, but, you know, he's got some issues to deal with. We all do. But uh, Amanda Peet is not the problem with that film, and I can watch her in anything. I mean, she could do a, a toy commercial, and I'll just sit there and be like, yeah, I love her. I mean, I saw her in a short film with Robert Downey Jr. I think it was from the either late 90s or like the mid-2000s or something like that. And I enjoyed it for what it was, you know? She's not afraid to act and be who she is. I mean, I respect her, love her on film. I wish that she would get that role, not just another comedy or another drama, just something, you know, a superhero film or an action film, just something different, you know? I mean, Nick Jonas is doing a thriller for this year for crying out loud. So if he can get that, I know Amanda Pete, they can give her a second chance. Please give her a second chance. She deserves it. Anyway, that's me defending, uh, giving my uh, thoughts on Amanda Pete, one of my favorite actresses of all time, at least in my top ten. Uh, she deserves better. I hope you guys uh, check out some of her films to support her, you know, because she deserves it. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.